Okay, was ein bisschen Nachdenken erst halt alles bringen kann. Ja, jetzt werden wir die Antwort haben. Warte, das soll jetzt wieder die falsche... Re das war doch jetzt eben die falsche Richtung. Das hier ist auf jeden Fall die richtige Richtung. Wir müssen doch so oder so jetzt wieder äh, zum Krankenhaus hin. Oder zum Lazarett. Hm, oder wäre der andere Weg kürzer gewesen? Schwer zu sagen. Ich bin bereit, Frau Nahida. <lacht> okay. First off, have you discovered the hidden truth? In der Tat. Mal sehen, äh, mal sehen. Samsara das Absirus Fest. We've already experienced the Subzerus Festival many times and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. Ah, Moment, 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 falsch, falsch, falsch. Da drüben ist ja schon die richtige Antwort. Die Leute von Sumeru träumen nicht. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Ja, und das kann dann im Nachhinein bloß ein Grund haben. Information von Akasha. Hm. Nein, das war's nicht. Räumen, den niemand ist. Okay, dann eben... Samsara das Abseus fest. Okay, dann eben jetzt... Er Ergebnis der alchemistischen Weissagung. I can't seem to cohesively piece everything together. Okay, das nicht. Räume, in denen niemand, niemand ist. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. Okay, jetzt er sagt vielleicht das Richtige? Interpretieren, die Leute von Sumeru träumen nicht. Unbewohnte Träume. Ja. Jetzt die Wahrheit des Traums. We are all in a dream. It isn't that the people of Sumeru don't dream. Rather, the Akasha is taking their dreams from them. Aber der Nutzen daraus erschließt sich mir jetzt irgendwie noch nicht so ganz. Okay, ohne Träume haben wir gesagt, die Menschen, die Menschen keine Hoffnung. So viel ist das ja klar. Und ohne Hoffnung kann es also kein Leben geben. Okay, Schlussfolgerung einreichen. People in Sumeru think they don't dream, but the truth is the Akasha steals their dreams without them knowing it. And those spaces with no human presence are stolen dreams without their host. That would explain why they sounded so weird when he was trying to describe them. Huh. So people in Sumeru do dream after all. In fact, we're all in one big dream together right now. Correct answer. Now, how did you conclude that the Akasha is capable of this? Oh Gott. Mal sind Akasha läuft das göttliche Herz. Es ist Verkörperung der Macht der Götter und der Weisheit. Es vereint die Weisheit der Menschen. Ja, es vereint die Weisheit der Menschen. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. That doesn't sound right. I need to carefully think th Okay. Es ist die Verkörperung der Macht der Götter in der Weisheit. Oder Akasha läuft durch das göttliche Herz? The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate. Nein. It is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. And it grants knowledge to the people. That doesn't sound right. It is the manifestation... Oh, okay. Those dream-controlling creatures in the forest also get their power from the Dendro Archon, right? That would explain why the Akasha has the ability to control people's dreams, too. But is stealing everyone's dreams really how the Akasha compiles their wisdom? Isn't there anything more to it than that? Dreams 
are fantastical, complex, and full of imagination. People's brains are the most active when they're dreaming. In other words, dreams are rich bundles of human wisdom. So in other words, the complete opposite of how Hypatia understood it. Parma remembers her saying that the sages think dreams are foolish delusions, and the fact that no one dreams is a blessing from greater Lord Ruka Devada. Hmm. So it was all a dirty trick? The real story is that the sages from the Academia are using the Akasha to steal people's dreams for their own use, huh? Aber die Weisen scheinen sich nicht damit zu begnügen. Oh? By the sounds of it, you understand the current situation pretty well. So then, what about the Samsara? Oh Gott, die Rede des großen Weisen. Oder warte mal. Samsara des Sapserus Fest. We've already experienced the Sapserus Festival many times. The day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. That doesn't sound warte, warte, warte. Dann er sagt doch, er die Rede des großen Weisen. The grand sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. The grand sage said, That doesn't sound right. Okay, dann... Ungewöhnliche geistige Erschöpfung. My mind feels exhausted. Even though I haven't done that doesn't okay, sound das auch nicht? I need Dann Geräusch von Akasha, das muss sein. Tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night, even though we removed our Akasha terminals. That doesn't sound right. Okay, dann er sagt das ist Schinden und Auftauchen des Raums. Those spaces kept disappearing before my eyes. But as soon as that beep sounded, many more spaces materialized. Those dreamscapes kept vanishing, but as soon as that beep sounded, more new spaces appeared. Hmm. Okay, Schlussfolge einreichen. Massenproduktion der Träume. Akasha is keeping each person's brain in a constant dream state, but also separating their consciousness from their own dream. Their disembodied consciousness is placed inside the collective dream of the Subzerus festival along with everyone else's, while their now vacant dreams are harvested by the Akasha. No one is any the wiser as another day passes in the dream, and so begins another samsara cycle. People wake up to yet another dream about the Subzerus festival. The dreams that belong to them are once again harvested by the Akasha. And so it continues. So, this is like a dream factory. And the Akasha is a dream harvesting machine. Did Paimon get that analogy right? <laughs> Very good, Paimon. Using analogies well is an excellent habit to get into. Okay. So that beep we keep hearing is actually from our real-life Akasha terminals. Taking off our terminals in this dream doesn't do anything. All right, last question. Who am I? Na, die Frage ist einfach. Mond. They say that alchemical divination is the Dendro Archon's divine revelation. So then, if Nahida has referred to herself as the moon... Du bist die niedere Herrin Kusanali. Uh, I thought that one would be the hardest question. That's why I put it last. <sighs> that wasn't hard at all. Even Paimon guessed that. Everything about you is different. We just didn't want to expose you as all. Now that you mention it, Nahida, you've been hinting to us since the very beginning. It's funny. Thinking back to when we were asking all over the place for info about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Paimon didn't expect to meet you like this. Tja, ich habe viele Fragen, aber jetzt ist noch nicht der richtige Zeitpunkt dafür. Yes, those can wait until we're back in real life. On the other hand, I'd be happy to answer any more questions you have about here and now. Okay.
Warum kannst du uns nicht direkt die Wahrheit erzählen? You asked me this question before. My answer was, it would literally blow your mind. Now that you know this is all a dream, this answer should hopefully make more sense. Have you heard the saying, don't wake a sleepwalker? Likewise, if someone suddenly had told you all this instead of you learning it on your own, your notion of reality and dream would be thrown into irreversible confusion. I couldn't expose you to that kind of risk. That's why I could only give you very subtle hints and some suggestions. Long story short, I'm really sorry I had to keep you guessing. Gut, wie können das wie können die Weisen das tun ohne dass es jemand merkt? Firstly, this dreamer in is completely based on reality. People have already experienced this Subzerus festival, so it would be very difficult for them to find anything that strikes them as surreal. Secondly, you're probably wondering why people don't have any memories from earlier samsara, right? That's because people don't remember their dreams most of the time anyway. And in any case, their actual dreams are being taken away from them by the Akasha. So whenever they wake up in this dream of the Subzerus festival, they don't remember anything from their previous identical dream. That reminds Paimon. Traveler had a dream when we were in the Avidia forest, but couldn't see what it was about after waking up. Is that an example of what you mean? Yes. Only after receiving the blessing of Dendro can a person gain the Dendro element's dream-enhancing power. That explains the feelings of deja vu. Meanwhile, everyone else has no idea that they are in the Subzerus Festival Samsara, while their dreams are stolen from them over and over again. Gut, was sind die Nebenwirkungen der massenproduzierten Träume? Can humans really keep dreaming forever like this? Will it ever end? And if so, when? Okay, die Antwort ist er sagt jetzt einfach zu beantworten. Wenn man er sagt ständig träumt, ist man in einem ständigen Schlaf Schlafzustand. Und wenn man natürlich ja träumt, kann man er sagt nicht essen und nicht trinken. Also ja, das Samsara würde dann er sagt bloß mit dem Tod des Träumenden enden. You might say your mental fatigue has already answered this question. Eventually. There is only so much that people can tolerate. Especially those whose health is compromised to begin with. Like Dunyarzad. This relentless exploitation takes an even harder toll on them. People's lives are at stake here, and nobody knows a thing! We've got to put a stop to this! Und jetzt meine letzte Frage. Warum haben Sie den Traum vom Sapsirus festgewählt? I know, right? Why did they have to base this dream on my birthday? Could it really just be a coincidence? Even you don't know the reason? Wow, now that's strange. The Academia Sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short time, no matter the cost. They have to be up to no good. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about it. Traveler, do you have any information? Oh, das ist jetzt auch mal wieder so eine interessante Frage. Mal sehen, die Rede des großen Weisen. Grand Sage said, go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? Nee, das kann ich nicht glauben oder unbewohnte Träume. Those spaces remind me of dreams, like the one I had in the Avidia forest. Except these have no sign of human presence. Ne, das ist irgendwie, glaube ich, alles nicht richtig. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Ah, oh, das könnte natürlich ja auch sein. Sie wollen, er sagt so, was ich ja sogar auch, glaube ich, schon mal vermutet hatte einen Weg zum göttlichen Herzen finden, was ich höchstwahrscheinlich ja, wie ich ja sowieso auch schon mal vermutete, in Immenzul sich befindet. Hm? In Immenzul befindet sich das göttliche Herz. Und wenn das göttliche Herz dann erstmal entfernt ist, dann stirbt Immenzul und, naja, geht dann in Flammen auf. So wie ich ja sowieso schon mal gesagt habe, es zu sehen war im Trailer der restlichen Mitglieder der Elf, der Fatui. Dottore stand vor Immenzul, Immenzul brannte und dann wachte er Sakolei aus ihrem Traum aus.
äh, Traum auf. That doesn't sound right. I need to carefully think. Oh, das war doch erst jetzt sowas von gut. Celebrate the birth of that god? Could it mean? Ah, oh, das könnte natürlich auch sein. Die wollen vielleicht da damit erreichen. Oh, vielleicht ist da bloß die Weisen von Sumeru. Wollen er sagt da dadurch erreichen, Ruke der Vater vielleicht irgendwie wieder auferstehen zu lassen. Aber jetzt habe ich keine weiteren Fragen. Oder? Warte mal, das Ganze hatten wir doch auch schon. Okay, das Ganze hatten wir ja schon. Ja, das Ganze hatten wir jetzt schon. Aber da habe ich jetzt keine Antwort parat. Deceiving the people of Samaru with no regard for their safety. No matter what they're trying to do, this is unforgivable. After we end the Subzerus festival, Samsara, we have to look into them. How can the sages of the Academia do this behind their Archon's back? This is ridiculous! In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is Long Khan. A sun and a moon? <sighs> Nahida's talking in riddles again. Oh, we're out of time today. I'll tell you how to break free of the samsara tomorrow. See you then. Oh, and here we go again. Bloß eine Sache ist jetzt hier komplett anders. Dunja Saat ist nicht mehr da. Moment, heißt das? Are we too late? The real Dunyarizad's consciousness has indeed disappeared. It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. Immer einen Schritt zu spät. Das hört einfach nicht auf. Zuerst er sagt mit unseren Kameraden von Schwertfisch in Inazuma. Dann er sagt damals er sagt mit meiner Schwester. Und jetzt er sagt das hier auch noch mit Dunyarizad. Immer ein Schritt zu spät. Just like the grass and the trees, that Dunyarizad is just a building block of the dream that helps to keep it going. But personality-wise, she's nothing like the real Dunyarizad. Puppets are stiff and can't copy a living person's vitality. After all, they're just there as filler. And you know, speaking of which, the old Dunyarizad might not have been too different from a puppet. Dunyarza truly believed that she met you within her consciousness, and it was you who inspired her. So you do remember her after all. Yes. Back then, her family was overly protective of her. No one cared about her personality or thoughts. It was as if she only lived to stall her Elazar. I just gave her a little wisdom so she could look at life in a new way. So that she could be her own person. But even so, she's still... Du bist eine sehr gütige Göttin. Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the Subzerus Festival with so many regrets. 
Please don't beat yourself up over it, Nahida. It's the Sage's fault, and theirs alone! I... I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. Don't be like that, Nahida. Even real Archons are still allowed to be sad. To prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the Samsara as soon as possible. Great, but how do we do that? Although the Subzera's festival dream is under the Akasha's control, only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. That means this dream belongs to a host who created it. Huh? So, how should we find that person? Well, if this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. Which means, with the power of imagination, they can change anything in this dream. Imagination? What do you mean by that? Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you'd naturally assume that food is on it. However, if you're the dream's host and you become aware that you're dreaming, when you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind, and the server really will bring you gold and mora. But right now, our host is unaware that this is a dream. No matter how many times they're served, it will always be food. Äh, was sollen wir also tun, nachdem wir den Besitzer gefunden haben? Find some way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. Usually, once that happens, the person will wake up and the dream samsara will be broken. How are we going to find them, though? If it could be anyone, it'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack. And even if we did find them, how are we supposed to make them realize they're dreaming? After all, like you said, don't wake a sleepwalker. It's extremely difficult, yes. But the only ones who can do it are you two. Remember, everything you've achieved up to this point has all been for the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. As for me, uh, during this time, I'll be out of town. Out of town? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the traveler went? Yes. I, I want to try something. There must still be a small wisp of possibility. Naringo! Dreams are supposed to be fantastical, romantic, and full of pleasant surprises. Unnecessary things like this samsara need to end. Hmm. Paimon's still a little upset that we've come this far only for Dunyarzad to... She was such a good person, with such a simple wish. But fate was against her. Es fühlt sich an, als hätte ich die Motivation verloren. Yeah. Saving Dunyarzad is what kept us going this whole time. But we mustn't lose hope, Traveler. Dunyarzad would definitely want to see us save everyone else. So let's break the Samsara for her sake. Paimon's wondering. Do you think the sages would get one of their own to be the host of this dream? Feels like it would be easier to control it that way, no? Ich denke nicht. Umgekehrt ist es für einen Unwissenden schwer zu erkennen, dass er im Traum ist. Huh. That's true. Plus, the sages probably weren't counting on there being other factors beyond their control. Like Nahida and us. So... Who do you think the host of the dream is? Hmm. Naja, könnte es der Blumenritter Ferris sein? Oh, that would make sense. Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is a symbol of the whole Subzeru's festival, right? Pretty core character. Let's go ask him some questions, shall we? Tja, mal abwarten. Das Enden ist Abseros-Fest. 
Ich glaube, wir müssten dann jetzt der Sack... Mhm, wir befinden uns jetzt, der Sack, schon im Abschlussbereich. Dieses Kapitels. Also gut, dieses eine Mal werde ich, der Sack, sofort der goldenen Linie folgen. Wir gehen erstmal zum großen Wasser. Dann gehen wir, Sack, gleich mal wieder die Treppe rauf. Und dann gleich mal abwarten. Hm, you're back. You left in a hurry last time. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Just um it's a little hard to explain. Uh would you mind taking part in a little experiment with us? An experiment? That came out of nowhere. I'm listening, though. What do you need me to do? Could you make a wish? Stell dir vor, dein Wunsch wird direkt vor den Augen wahr. You want me to make a wish? Is that a new Subzero's festival tradition or something? Less questions, more wishing. Okay. Okay. My wish. My wish. Um, okay. I'm a little nervous saying this out loud, but I want Miss Dunyarzad to be happy. Oh. I noticed earlier that she looked a bit down, and she wasn't really talking to anyone. She just doesn't seem like herself. She's always so gentle and kind, and all the kids love her. I've also wondered if the reason she asked me to be Ferris Knight of Flowers is because I'm special to her, or something. So, you have a crush on Dunyarzad? Uh, <laughs> oh, is it that obvious? After what I just said, I guess it is. When she placed the hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my head, she said to me, I want everyone to have a happy Subzerus festival. What she didn't realize was that I'm not that interested in how everyone else feels. In that moment, I just wanted to be her Knight of Flowers for the rest of my life. Fifty years, a hundred years, I'll serve her till the end of time. Okay, yeah, that was a bit much. Felt like the right moment to get it off my chest, but <clears throat> that was pretty embarrassing. Okay, I'm ready to make my wish. I would like Miss Dunyarzad to appear in front of me right now with a smile on her face. Here goes. Please come true. Ich hoffe, dieser Wunsch in Erfüllung geht. I'm gonna open my eyes. Oh. Uh, oh, you're... What? Fucky? Uh, sorry, but only one portion of Yelda candies per person. Back home you go. <laughs> uh, nice try, you two. Anyway, never mind. I don't need to see her appear right in front of me. As long as she's happy. <laughs> Guess he isn't the host of this dream after all. Should have expected it wouldn't be this easy. Tja, dann suchen wir weiter. Aber sicherlich nicht der Alchemist. Everyone who knows Dunyarzad loves her. But none of them has any idea that she... My lady, step back. That sounds like Dia! Oh right, this is when Dunyarzad bumps into the kidnappers! Okay, ich erteile ihnen eine Lektion. Huh? But Dia can handle them! Hey, Traveler! Tut mir leid, aber wir müssen unseren Frust jetzt mal an irgendwas abreagieren. Also ver... Warte mal, laufen wir jetzt überhaupt in die richtige Richtung? Ja. Also gut, dann verprügeln wir jetzt einfach mal auf die Schnelle die goldbegraben Typen. Oh, 
Oh, it's you. Great timing. Please take. Nimm Dunyasat erst weg. Äh, nein, ich kümmere mich um diese Typen. Hey, this is my job. The homie Yanis pay me, not you. Los. You. Ugh, fine. All right. Knock yourself out. Why are you so worked up anyway? It's not like I don't trust your fighting skills. Anyway, watch yourself. So you got yourself some backup. <laughs> Suit yourself. You're going down. Tja, ich glaube eher. Okay, das war's dann, wie es aussieht. Traveler, were you just taking your anger out on those guys? Ah, ich bin nur ein bisschen böse auf mich selbst. You and Nahida both. Dinyarzad wouldn't want to see you two like this. Oh, and speaking of her, I just remembered something. Remember how during the first Sub-Zero's festival, before the Samsara started, we came here with Dunyarzad because she wanted to pick something up? She said it was because she had forgotten something. Ah ja, das habe ich ganz vergessen. Okay, so Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is staying somewhere around here. She pointed it out to us the night before the Sub-Zero's festival. Vielleicht ist das ein Hinweis. Yeah, even if it's only a tiny clue, it'll probably still help us more than this needle in a haystack search. This is the place. It's rude to enter other people's spaces without permission, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Hey, the windows are unlocked. Okay, uh... Paimon's gonna take a peek inside. Paimon betritt den Raum, fliegt nach einer Weile etwas zurück. This was only a temporary residence, so there was pretty much nothing inside except this book on the table. Should we open it? Oh Gott. Notiz mit anmutiger Anschrift. Endlich habe ich diese Aufzeichnung vom Vorabend des Sapsirus Fest fertiggestellt. Fast was fast 16 Tage gedauert hat. Da ich davon ausgehe, dass ihr nach dem Sapsirus Fest bald wieder auf Reisen gehen werdet, möchte ich sie dir spätestens am Tag des Fests geben. Ich habe alle überlieferten Erzählungen über die niedere Herren Kusanali zusammengestellt, indem ich während der Vorbereitung des Festes die Einwohner in Sumero befragte. Auch wenn ich viele, viele Leute befragt habe, gab es nur sehr wenige, die überhaupt etwas über niedere Herren Kusanali wussten. Ich hoffe jedoch, dass diese Aufzeichnung dir bei der Suche nachher helfen kann. Das Wasser in der Nähe von Gandava war ein zu unreinigt und man musste weit gehen, um Wasser zu schöpfen. Doch eines Tages stellten die Einwohner plötzlich fest, dass das Wasser dort wieder trinkbar wurde. Und einige meinten, sie hatten in der Nacht zuvor einen grünen Lichtschein in der Nähe des, der Wasserquelle gesehen. Alle glaubten fest daran, dass es die göttliche Kraft der niederen Herren Kusanali sein musste. Es hörte sich ziemlich glaubwürdig an. Es muss wohl sehr lange dauern, bis sich eine verschmutzte Wasserquelle selbst reinigen kann. Hat sich die niedere Herren Kusanali tatsächlich bei Gandava aufgehalten? Nach dem Tod meiner Mutter hatte ich immer zu viel Angst vor der Dunkelheit, um nachts zu schlafen. Aber eines Tages fing eine Stimme an, mit mir zu sprechen, bis ich einschlief. Eine Frau erzählte mir, dass es die niedere Herren Kusanali war, die sich um mich kümmerte. 
Armes Kid, ich hoffe, das Sabseros Fest kann ihn wieder etwas glücklich machen. Seine Erfahrung ähnelte in gewisser Hinsicht meiner damaligen. Die Nieder niedere Herren Kusanali muss eine sehr sanftmütige Göttin sein. Einmal hatte ich zu viel getrunken und fand den Weg nicht mehr zurück. An einer Ecke sah ich, glaube ich, die niedere Herren Kusanali. Sie wirkte außerordentlich groß mit einer sehr stark mit sehr starken Beinen und Armen. Da fiel ich hin und sie fing mich mit einer Hand auf. Am nächsten Morgen fand ich mich schlafend unter einem Baum. Und ja, es muss wohl die niedere Herren Kusanali gewesen sein, die auf mich aufgepasst hat. Das hier ist vielleicht nicht sehr aufschlussreich. Das muss doch ein Baum gewesen sein, oder? Überlieferung in Sumero mit Dunyasats Anmerkung am Rand. Sie wurden dicht über viele Seiten aufgezeichnet. Wow. Dunyasat wrote all of this. Sounds like she was always thinking of us, even while we were away. Even though she was also busy preparing for the Subzeru's festival and had all her health problems to worry about. She must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the day of the Subzeru's festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we never would have known. But now that we know, we can't even thank her. Dunya Saad. Naja, der echten können wir zwar nicht mehr begegnen. Aber es gibt immer noch die andere, Dunja Saad. Und auch wenn das nicht so viel bringen sollte. Wir müssen das jetzt tun. Die Wahrheit. Das Wissen. Los geht's. It's Dunyarzad's Puppet. Ich fühle mich besser, wenn ich es ausspreche. Danke dir. still remembers when we were sitting here and the way her eyes sparkled when she talked about Nilu's dance of Subzeru's. Ich kann mich kaum noch daran erinnern. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. That was what the real Dunyarzad said, wasn't it? Does that mean... Dunyasad? Yes, Traveler. What is it? Oh, so she's still just a puppet. But just now, how come? Kein Bedauern hinterlassen. What? Where are we going this time? Zum einzigen Ort, wo wir noch hingehen können. Lass uns den Sapseros-Tanz ansehen. <lacht> 